Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's take this picture here taken from a hotel balcony and see if we can make it something a bit extraordinary in make it a bit more like we so say we're at the side here we're over the top of this so we're going to start off we got on the showing the clipped highlights and shadows and we can see there's a bit of red in the light there there's a bit of red up here showing that it's a bit burnt there so we'll go to the basic tab here and go to shadows and highlights and I'll pull down the highlights until I get that looking a bit better and the lights there maybe a bit more to sort out that one there the histogram is way down to the left but we kind of expect that because it's a night scene we don't want to turn it into day so what can we do maybe push the exposure up a little bit then also sort of drag it down a little bit more with the black points we get a little more contrast in this Our brightness work a little bit um, maybe not just a little bit there so let's leave that there and move on to the photo persona so what we want to do here is to take this rectangle here and square it up and it's surprising the effect you can have so we want the perspective tool here and on the dialogue here we want the mode to change that to source and so we're going to put the corners into the corners of that square we'll do it roughly first and then we'll zoom in to get it accurate go into that there so now we'll zoom into this one here get that right into that corner there come down here and this one into that corner here and over to here and up to this one here right and now we'll hit control zero so we're out here so we want to effectively make that square and to do that we change the mode from source to destination make sure that the snapping is on here the magnet is clicked so it'll square up nicely also i'm going to say view and grid so we've got actual lines of bodies which is vertical and horizontal and then all I need to do is drag these around and they'll snap to positions here so that I can get this nice and square and there you go it looks a little bit different here to what it was I can control and single quote gets rid of the grid and I can just apply that and there we go I've got this pretty much square here um, I could do a little bit more, more work in case these are a little bit uneven but uh, using the mesh grid but I'll leave it like that for now so let's do our basic crop and we want to bring this in so it's got a nice kind of square look around these the stops here so I'm going to put that one up here you can see that's a little bit elongated but that's okay because it's mostly hidden and that was the with the distortion we got we bounce it up around here and we're going to bring this up here to the stop here yeah, we're going to get, take that back a little bit there to give a bit more space on this here behind the car to position it in and take in this this building here and then bounce this down here that's going to leave us a bit down here but that's okay because i'm going to apply that then I'm going to do a layer and rasterize and trim which throws away the outside bit and the reason is because the next thing would not work unless I did that so I'm going to go select alpha range and partially transparent and that will get the partial and complete transparent bits down here and let's see how the in painting is going to work so edit in paint which will do it just within the selected area and look at that isn't that great Control D, it's filled it in really neatly. That saved a whole bunch of cloning around. So what else can we do now? Um, let's make these lights a bit more dominant. So I'm going to go to the this one here, right click on that, 
and go to the trapezoid and I'm going to from the front of the car here I'm going to draw out like the headlights are going to be down here give it that whole length forward there but I want to make that a bit more blurred so I'm going to put a live blur onto that so to live filters and Gaussian blur turn this up is that enough um let's see try a blend mode here of screen that'll tell us if that's enough that's just too much isn't it so I'm going to go right up further here type in there I can make this bigger let's say 400 and that's certainly a lot more and it may be okay like this it may be just putting in some like a screen that's gonna so I'm gonna soften it what's that it actually doesn't make much difference does it so I'll leave that up there because I can always turn down the opacity if that looks a bit much but first of all I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to put in here a gradient down the, this to effectively turn this off so I go to the gradient tool and I drag from the top of that to the bottom here and then change the colour here and at the other end there I'm going to make that transparent so I'm just turning the opacity down I can turn it down as much as I want so you can see the light fall off from the front of the car which makes that realistic so if I go back out to here then now I've got a lot more of this coming down here and this really does now look like we're looking down right from above what else can we do would it help a little bit of sharpening on this I'm not sure um often does I can try it let's do that make sure we've got the right one selected and we'll do a uh, let's do a high pass filter here monochrome blend mode stop the linear light and just turn the radius up we'll go into the carts the main subject and see whether that's going to bring this out more because what we don't don't want to do is to get too much any noise in here because it's a dark picture you're going to get noise maybe we need to put in a bit of a, a noise reduction beforehand so I'll go here and go to denoise and notice that's above there so I'm going to click that take that down here can I get this one and put that on there there you go so it's none now gone underneath so if I go really in close to this you can see there's a bit of noise there just turn this up a bit to ease off that noise there we go so it doesn't take much to do that there we go bring up the high pass again and see what radius is going to help here generally don't go above one for this and there we go but this the sharpening is also brought out a couple of spots here so I'm going to go back up to here go to the in painting brush here and just dab that there we are let's clean that one up dab that one clean that one up sharpening will do this it'll show you where there is some just sensor spots so have a look around anything else there's another one down here and i'm not sure what there is but it might be a drain but it doesn't matter we get rid of it it works well and uh, here we go just try one more thing we'll try a little bit of curves to see if a bit of contrast will help just do the straight one here bring this lights up a bit darks down a bit makes it a little bit of more of a night scene and I think I'll put a vignette on it as well so I'll just do the standard live filters vignette here this one only goes around the center you can't move the center too easily but if you're happy with that us this is here so I'll turn the exposure right down first just to make it visible then turn the hardness down to soften it which means I need to adjust the scale to get that back out again just near the edge it's just kind of clipping the corners and taking the light away around the corners which is a bit distracting and the shape is fine because it's almost square anyway so there we go there's a picture we've got and uh, it almost looks like we're sitting right above here isn't it like it was, you might be taken with a drone or something and Hope you like it. There we go, a full edit. Thank you very much for watching.